Hey guys, and welcome back. My name is Dak, and today we're gonna continue our warden here on Lindruva in Mordor. So we went on up here to uh, Nagloth, and we're gonna do the book quest first. I would recommend that. Hear that sound in the background? That was a weird sound. Uh, because that will just make it smoother. You don't have to go back twice in the same area. So we gotta talk to the stone here. Uh, the carbon stone is dreadful in form and it does not seem out of place within a Gorgoroth. But there's something else about it. So there's a ghost living in it. And that one, it cannot talk, so it talks to me in uh, visions. You see a place of darkness, a tiny point, a light flickering high above, then below there's a knife held in a cruel fist. It descends in an arc and blow flows Blood flows from a wound. The darkness deepens. The voice in your head speaks no words, but you suddenly are washed on a questioning sea. You cover your own words enough. Yes, the guzio. The occasion race vanishes as quickly as they arrive, and the place is an overwhelming sensation. The promise of knowledge and secrets held close for centuries. As you try to express that such knowledge will be welcome, it is whisked cruelly away, dangled just out of reach. Okay. The given sensation is gone, replaced with a, a taking a desire. You see a prison in your mind's eye, and the details are so clear, you know it's a real place. The spirit shows you a certain cell in this prison and a scorched skull. So here we have to go to Nairbend, which is where we would go anyway for the next round of questing, and to recover a prison. A uh, prison. <laughs> recover a skull from the prison. Um, so we're gonna do that. But first. I would recommend going up here. We're really close to Agal Knife, which is the next the last questing area in Mordor right now. I mean, obviously, next expansion coming out uh, very soon from when I record this is Mirkwood up there. Uh, when you see it, Mirkwood will already be out. Just I'm, I recorded a bunch, but I forgot to release it, you know, live. And uh, but there's also here still a lot in Mordor that they obviously plan to cover. So we're gonna go here. I just, I'm not going to start any quests here, I just want the uh, stable. So that when I'm ready to quest here, I have the stable. Something else for the meta, uh, so this under the fires of the Orodurin is required again for the, for you to be able to do the dailies in Mordor. Uh, I have no idea if, you know, if you do Mirkwood, if this is even important anymore. Uh, we'll, we'll find out. Um, but if, if this is still the best way of getting keys and um, black boxes, I, mean, I assume it is. Uh, we have to scout an air Nagarov, we do this later. And in Ur over down there, we just have to run there and discover it. So let's do this. And there's actually a milestone here. That's interesting. Is that milestone new? You know that milestone might actually be helpful right now because we do have to return to Udun. Why is it? It's like on this little island there. This is so weird. Uh, what we're gonna do first so is we're gonna go and discover this gate. Right now the gate is closed. This gate will take us further into Mordor later on, I assume. So I'll, I think after Mirkwood, um, maybe even the next expansion is gonna be down here. And this gate will open up, basically. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. For now, we run there. We run to the gate. And we come back just for the Under the, the, under the Fires quest. Meta quest. Do we get anything for it, actually? Eh. Nothing great. Look at all that shadow we have here. Actually, it's not too awful here. But the gate to Nurn is quiet and sealed tight. So this will open up eventually and we can go into a Nurn and explore this area. It's kind of awesome. So we, the book is covered, right? We've done everything that's in the Lord of the Rings, um, except maybe the scouring of the Shire. But other than that, everything is done. We defeated, we went through the Shire, Preland, Moria, Lothorian, uh, Rohan, Gondor. Now we are here in Mordor. Now we're going into areas that you know, we haven't seen. Uh, we're gonna go back to Mirkwood first and then uh, hopefully we go down there. So it's kind of exciting um, what we see. Obviously the standing stones still have to go through what the book says so they can't make things up. 
But yeah, they have a little bit more leaning where where they want the story to go. This is after story. Just kind of have to follow a little bit what's going on. They can they have some more creative freedom, which which can be good or bad. Um, this kind of looks cool. So that's now Nagrov Nairban, sorry, uh, the prison of Mordor. So that's where we have to go. This looks awesome, actually. All right, this is where we have to go. Uh, first of all, there's gonna be a lady there. I didn't take her quest, but on the way to um, doing all of these quests, you will find her and you will uh, take a quest. Uh, uh, there's more steeds and leg right there. Uh, we're just gonna take the quest real quick and not even worry about too much. So defeat the patrollers, Navarin is a prisoner that no one leaves. We were meant to be rotting in cells. Is that guy still fighting me? Yeah. I alone escape, blah blah blah. So she basically wants me to help her escape, um, save more people. Never surrender still going. Alright, we're good there. Yeah. And this is gonna be another area where we go in, there's gonna be like, you know, 10, 15 quests, something like that. Uh, we do have to defeat patrollers, so we might as well. Where we see them, their range, they're not, they're not super strong, so, 51k. Let's see if we can get both their range, which is a problem, so we kind of have to be mindful how we position ourselves. There's a patron there if you want it. I'm not really interested in patrons right now. The dead bitch, they're already dead. The bleeds will kill him. Actually, they might out heal the bleed, uh, will they? Now 5,000. One, yeah, they're dead. Their heal is not that strong. Was it 2k every 4 seconds? Look like it. And then we kind of want to go this way. So we want to go into uh, this area. Uh, another patroller. I'm surprised there's not a second one there. So if it's just one, let's ambush them. Why not? <laughs> we, we have the skill. <laughs> Might as well have it. Alright, and let's see. There you go. He's gonna dive on the police anyway. I oh, will kill him. Uh, we got a javelin. Level one. Why is it level one hundred? That's weird. But they're all level one hundred, I guess. Do we want? Yeah, we want to keep it. Uh, we soon have to worry about our weapons and what we want to put on them. So I need to re prepare. Actually, I need to level other weapons to get the web the legacies I want. Uh, again, this guy. My plan is. I'm gonna play him as a tank, so he's gonna get tanking gear. Maybe later on we'll have a secondary build for him. But you know, I do have a main DPS class in my room keeper, so it really would make sense to gear him to a DPS. Wow, I think it's that fire damage from these guys that goes for my physical uh, to my. Tactical mitigation quite a bit. Yeah, there goes our never surrender. It's okay, we have it. Yeah, again, totally messed up this gambit. I think it's this rock form there. Oh, look at him. There we go. Got a page. We got another a patroller. But you can see here, find a scorch skull in the cells of Nabba, and that's why. I wanted to go there first, get that quest, and then go questing in here. Because otherwise you do all the quests in the area and you're like, oh, I'm done with this place because it's really not a great place to be in. And then, boom, you have to go back. <laughs> Which is uh, super annoying. Okay, he's gonna die just from the bleeds. Um... 
my boys are taking orders from that Shit. Yeah, okay, there she is. I was gonna say, you wanna defeat these eight guys first, because she will be right here and give you more quests. So... I, I was taken here with my brethren in cages. We were told that we did not uphold the great laws that sound as put in place in order. Our punishment was to be bound by chains. Rodia has many of the orcs of fire, known as the Gashai. We know them for Moria. I hear that they came to Nerbin soon after the tower fell. I don't know why. Alright, so we gotta help her free the chains, the prisoners. We gotta help her get us some supplies so they can flee. And we gotta help free people. I guess the chains are just, you know, because they want to defeat some chains. So you can see, um, four quests basically. The gates of Nerban is basically just, um, you know, go in there quest, and then we have to do all these three to, um, to finish the last one. Stun this guy. Come on, stun this guy. There we go. So this is like the courtyard, you know, it's a prison. Alright, this guy's dead. It's kind of a lot. I wish the Berg was like this. I and mean, that's what I thought it would be. Um, lots of fleets, but it's really the one that puts out the fleets. Um, you put them on there, they're gonna die. They're basically zombies. Yeah, that guy died. <laughs> Alright, and then we have to defeat these orcs to uh, get the keys. I would recommend getting that done uh, as soon as you can. These guys are going to be a little bit harder. They're warriors, they have more hit points. And as such, they um, take long to defeat. We're actually starting. Okay, they're 112. I was going to say, we started. We're do some good damage on them. They resist less. Alright, we got all the keys, so now we have the quest to free the people. So we have to run around and basically do a bunch of things. Um, you know, you know how it goes. Uh, you don't have to kill everything in here. You can kind of try and avoid as much as you can. Like, you know, here we don't have to fight both of them, we just have to fight this one. Get to this guy, free him. And that will be it. Uh, orcs, I don't think it matters what damage we do to them. Alright, he's dead. Ah, we got him anyway. And then there's these guys patrolling there. Uh, the Berserkers, they have high hit points, they're annoying. Let's avoid them. Uh, if you still want to DPS these guys, you know, in range, we can. Go to the other stands, and you can actually do gambits while away. I wouldn't recommend this normally. But, it's... I don't know. Going in is always better. Oh, there's some rations over there, I almost missed. Okay, he's doing his heal. Let's put one Spear of Virtue on him and that should be enough. There you go, got a 10k hit anyway. Right, yep, that's what you do in here. You uh, do a bunch of those, you... Three people, you try to avoid... Okay, I didn't hit it right away, I want to avoid this Berserker. Let's move away. Is that my... It's both my weapons, so let's enable leveling on these for a second, till I can get a real reforge. Alright, we got some rations here. And yeah, just run around, try to get all the rations, uh, try to get all the people freed. And uh, shackles over here. You also have to feed two gate wardens. Um, you know, again. If you run around, you'll find them. Not very exciting. So I think what we'll do, we'll fight some dudes. Oh my god, this stupid berserker was around the corner. He's one of those guys that... Okay, especially for us, we need to set up an interrupt. He has the skill that if he gets it off, induction skill, any damage he will take, he actually heals. And as also a warden, since most of our damage is bleeds, he would basically get a full heal. Uh, he should do it somewhat soon. No, not yet. Uh, I kind of want to set up two interrupts, but I need a heal. There we go. 
in case the first interrupt kind of misses. Oh my god, this guy. He triggered my never surrender, I don't believe it. I'm waiting for his induction to go off, but he didn't never used it. Huh. That's why you want to avoid these guys if you can. Uh, what we don't want to avoid is this ration in there. Let's get this guy alone. And let's kill self. I think all we need to do is put a bleed on him. He's dead. Get this guy, get this guy, just, you know. I don't know, just because. I guess we have to defeat some foes in here. Let's try to avoid any more bear circle, berserkers and leaders. So there's a berserker coming this way. Let's get one more bleed off. And let's uh, retreat in here. We're actually getting quite low in health. I don't know, is it these warriors that deal so much damage? He will hopefully dive on a bleed. No? I didn't even see this guy with the whip. Good thing I didn't pull him. Actually, right, so we can't underestimate these guys. <laughs> I think that's the lesson we just learned. Supplies. And then, again, we just have to run around. You kind of can see on the map where stuff is. So there's another chest in there. Uh, let's take out this guy. Looks like an, a skirmisher and a warrior is about all we can take. I took these two warriors earlier and it was no issue at all. Maybe if you start working on this guy first. Make sure there's no berserker coming, he's over there. Alright, let's call in the warrior. To get both warriors, of course. Let's face this way so we can see when stuff is incoming. Uh, we got our mitigation buff off when there were three, so that's good. Actually, that's just warriors, so we can pull them over. And that way we can get this supply. So, yeah, this is a bunch of fighting. That's all this is. Alright, we want to avoid this a Berserker if we can. And again, you can kind of see in here if you missed something. The quest rings are the prisoners. And then the the areas are basically, hey, there's some rations over here. So let's go there and get stuff done, basically. There's a bunch of chests as well. There's somebody fighting here. That's good for us. I think they're just standing here. Probably have a brook. Oh, look. How many... How many... Lawmasters are here? Mr. a Lawmaster, you can do that and you can just... Let them farm XP for you. Or oh, items. Go AFK. <laughs> so I don't see the Lawmaster even. Which makes you think there's a Brock uh, doing share the fun. Oh, actually, we have to go in there. Let's go in there and get that ration. Oh. Now oh, we got him. Alright, what we can do. Look at that. Had to use that right away. Yeah, you don't want to fight these guys. If you do get a lead on some other guy, the leader gives him that aura where they heal. Uh, it's just super annoying. Uh, I really didn't want to get a leader. But yeah, while this bear is fighting over there, we're gonna go in there and get those rations. Man, this guy really hits. Even for partially of age, he still hit for 5,000. Oh, we slowed down because of that totem. Is that bear still living good? Yeah, bear's gonna do fine. Oh, look, we even missed another one over there. 
I'm really surprised. Where are the people? Gotta be hiding somewhere back there. Just have them stand here to farm items. Farm ash items, I assume. I uh, really don't want that Berserker. Alright, let's take on this Defiler since we killed the one warrior there. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is, since this is really not the most enjoyable, just a bunch of killing this area and collecting these things, I'll probably just do a cut and do all these quests and then we'll come back and see some more interesting stuff inside. I think that might be a better format of all. So we're gonna do that. I think you see me fighting enough to get the idea. Um, there's nothing as interesting. This is just a bunch of this area looking like this. Uh, and me, me hopefully not dying. Might have to kite these a little bit. Alright, this guy is almost dead. But yeah, so that's what I gotta do. So thanks for watching, guys. Next time you see me, I will have finished these quests. And we're ready to go into Nairband. Thanks for watching. As always, if you enjoyed this, um, please hit the like button. And uh, leave me a comment if you want to. And otherwise, I'll see you next time. See you in a bunch of shackles here. Thanks.